Hey guys, I'm back with actually a tutorial for once, not a get ready with me, not a vlog. I'm so sorry for being absent. I, excuse time, I had, um, I was going to New York with my best friend Laura, and I forgot the camera at home, and it was all charged and everything, which is so sad, because um, that would have been really fun, but I'll do it again soon. What else? I was doing a get ready girls night video with my friend Taylor, and... Our other friend came over in the middle of us filming it, so we stopped because we were like, this is awkward. What else? Yeah, that's where my excuses end, so I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to try and film, like, two other videos right now, so have a great day! Okay, so first things first, you're going to take a primer potion or um, any kind of base for your eyelids. I'm taking Urban Decay's Primer Potion. It's my favorite one, that one and the Too Faced one. I enjoy them both equally. I'm just put very little on. You don't need too much because if you use too much you will create creasing. And then I take whatever's left on my fingers and run it right under my lash line. If you're using a colored base I wouldn't do that because it would just color it a little bit more. Or this is clear. And then I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette because this is more fall colors. And I'm going to take a fluffy blending like brush. This one is a classic C430 Royal Silk Pro brush. Any fluffy brush. And I'm going to take it in the color Tease, which is the matte, um, like the transition, like the, like naked in the first palette. This is that one. And I'm going to take it and just run it right into my crease for some definition. Give your eyeball some shape. Make sure you blend it out. Next, I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This one is a Sigma SS252. I believe all the numbering has changed since I got my brushes like two years ago. And then I'm going to take it in the color, hmm, booty call. It's like a light pinky champagne. I'm going to take a short little smudger brush. This is the E20. That's the new numbering. And I'm going to dip it in Pistol. Yeah, Pistol. And I'm just going to take it from the outer corner and kind of just bring it upwards. And then I'm going to take Suspect, which is a goalie color, right next to it. Dip it on the same brush. And go under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back with that fluffy brush that we used to um, put in the tees and just run it over the color pistol. Holding back further than the brush gives you more control. And just blending it in little circles. I don't want to bring it too far over. Just blend. take Foxy from the palette, which is the matte highlight color in the front. Same fluffy brush. Run it over the eyebrow area. Just, I'm going to go into liner, I guess. Mm. 
which I'm going to take Urban Decay's Bourbon, which is like a dark brown sparkly color. And I'm just going to run it very close to the lash line on the outer part of the eye. Right here to about midway. And then I'm going to take a flat brush Really? Oh, a flat brush. This one's also a Sigma brush. This is a Sigma E15 flat definer brush. And I'm just going to take it and just gently kind of smudge it over and out. So that way it's not a super harsh line. But I don't want to smudge it too much so that way it looks like a brown hunk of my eye. Just diffuse it, I guess would be a better word. I'll show you closer on this eye. So then your eyes are defined, but they're not like, boom, black. If you like your eyes to be a little darker, you can make them darker, or you can just take a black liner. This is a BH Cosmetic one in Onyx. And just tight line your eyes. Which made my lash line look much thicker, and your eyes don't look dark. To contour my face, because I feel in the winter, people more contour their face. Or in the summer, they more bronze up their face. So I'm going to try and mix the two. I'm going to take Max Blunt, which is my go-to, and a this brush right here, V's Favorite Brush, from V's Favorite Brushes, Brown Powder Brush. Available on Crown Brush. You guys should really check it out. I hit it right from the top of my ear down, not going too much further than the outer corner of my eye, though. Dotting it right on my temples and doing a little bit under my chin to give me a sleeker looking face. This is also the point where you would go and you could contour your nose if you felt like you needed to. I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush because I really don't contour my nose very often. The tip. And then I go back in with this brush and just do back and forth motions, slightly dragging it up. Because if you drag it up, you're making your face look like this is hollower because this is rounding. You're giving your face dimension. I'm sorry, I meant to be talking to you, not the big mirror behind you. This is an Ulta blush. Ulta Cheek and Karma. I don't know if they still make it. It's like orange. Okay. Dab a little bit because it's very pigmented. Tap off your brush and go on your cheekbones on top of the contour. And do a little bit more on the side. Just keep the face warm looking. Now, I think the most important thing about winter, and about every season, is your highlighter. And I'm going to use NARS Copacabana. Or creepy smile. Use very little because it's very pigmented. And I just hit the tops of my cheekbones. Now you can set it if you'd like. I'm personally going to set it with a bit of Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Blonde, which is really dirty. But I'm just going to take the um, highlighter 
side, this one, this champagne looking one. This is the Sonia Kashuk um, Lush Brush, I think it's called. And just go over where I highlighted, just to make it stand out more. Now this is also where you can take it down your nose, on top of your cupid's bow, and your forehead. Now, if you're just wearing this to school, or a football game, you don't have to touch your lips, you can just run out the door, you shouldn't even do as much makeup, but if you want it, when you have time, go right ahead. Um, if I was to go out like this, I would want to touch my lips, unless I was going out just to eat, and then forget it, because it's going to get everywhere. But... Because it's starting to be fall, why not? I'm going to take NYX's Rose, maybe, and sharpen it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to outline my lips lightly. and start to fill them in in the corners going inwards. Smush my lips together and take my finger and just kind of blend the pink out. Ah! That's not from that. That's from an OCC lip tie that got busted. And it's everywhere in my back. Or in my hand. And then I'm going to take a Sephora lip gloss wand thing. This is number 20 Siren. It's like pinks. But I'm going to take this middle color. Yeah. And I'm just going to pat it on at first. And that's it. It's just like a deeper rosy pink. Um, so anyway, I have to go wash my hands now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know what you want to see next. Have a great day.